welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing we want to talk about tonight is, I don't know if you saw this, but the largest aircraft in the world, the Airlander 10, which is 100 feet longer than a Boeing 747, has crashed during a test flight. Now, nobody was injured, but we hear the footage of the crash is pretty harrowing. I haven't seen it yet. But we're about to show you right now is real footage of the Airlander 10 crashing after it hit some power lines. Take a look. Okay, that, that is a very slow crash, right? <laughs> Clearly, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take a while, so we'll, let, we'll, we'll move on to some other topics and we'll come <laughs> back to it. Uh, in other news, there are rumours, I don't know if you saw this, that Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte has signed a deal to appear on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be nice for Lochte to have three people judging him instead of the whole country. <laughs> it's not official yet. It is just a rumour that Ryan Lochte is joining Dancing with the Stars, but you know it's true because it didn't come from Ryan Lochte. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, but, uh, well, let's go back to the aircraft because it's, it's got to be crashing by now. Let's. <laughs> It still hasn't crashed. Like, what are the pilots doing during this drawn-out crash? Like, are they just in the cockpit, like, ah! <laughs> 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 um, we'll, all right, we'll move on to some other stuff. We'll come back. Uh, in science news, astronomers at NASA are saying that they've discovered a new Earth-like planet that is only 4.2 light years away. And I know, I reacted the exact same way as you. <laughs> I don't know how far that is either. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, long, far, yes, no, cool. I mean, this is great news. Like, a new Earth-like planet has been discovered a few months before an election where Donald Trump could be president. <laughs> if, if that's not perfect timing, I don't know what is. Uh, and this story made me laugh. Apparently, on his radio talk show, Rush Limbaugh mentioned a US Department of Agriculture program for the LGBT community, and he said that this, this scheme uh, by, was a scheme by Obama to infiltrate rural America with an army of government-paid lesbian farmers. <laughs> I mean... It's so ridiculous. Like, what does he think? Like, look out, rural America. They're gonna steal your crops and beat you a softball. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know... I don't know... if that's... If, if it's Obama that's causing lesbians to become farmers. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't just become a farmer, you're born a farmer. <laughs> Well, I don't know if government-paid lesbian farmers are a threat to America, but it's definitely Rush Limbaugh's most searched term on Pornhub. <laughs> well, look, we don't have much time. Let's, let's see if this plane has finally crashed. Into the ground. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Is that it? That's the whole thing. <laughs> No wonder nobody on board was injured. Nobody on board was even aware that they had crashed. <laughs> like, what did the flight attendants on that flight say before it took off? Uh, in the event of emergency, just sort of do whatever. If you've got a full drink, maybe get it down to halfway. <laughs> Other than that, have fun, relax. We've actually got a, a real picture of the plane back in the hangar now, where they're repairing it, and everyone involved in the crash says they feel like a bit of an ass, which I think will make sense when you see the photo. <laughs> That's the plane.